citizen to see you, Mr. Mayor. Citizen? They're not allowed in here. This is public property. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Hey guys, Rogue Nation here with you today. What a beautiful day it is today. And uh, we got another great video coming to you. This one's coming from Niagara Accountability. He's got a little under a thousand subscribers, but um, he's well versed in the law there. And he uh, helps educate and he put out a banger today. There was a disgruntled uh, citizen that says he knows all about what we do. And it's always nice to get these guys put in their place. So without further ado, we're going to check out the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, go by Niagara Accountability. Give him a sub. You know, YouTube always unsubscribes us, so always make sure you're sub, give a like, a share, tell them thanks for sticking up for our rights. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Just uh, as uh, Long Island Auto would say, there's our reminder that they're always watching us, but it seems to be a problem when we are filming them. So here's their sign. No audio, video recording, no bicycles. Who would bring bicycles in there? Shopping carts, rollerblades, scooters, Scrabble Club, interesting. A chess club. Sir, can you not read the sign? What law is that uh, enforces that There's sign, man? There's a sign on the door that says no filming in the library. Yeah, it's a public library, isn't it? Is it not a public library, ma'am? It is, but you cannot. Then I'm a member of the public, right? Am I not a member of the public? So here's... No abusive behavior, we won't be engaging in that. We don't have any pets, we're not sleeping. No wheel devices. Mobility aids accepted. <laughs> See, they don't like me being in here because I have a camera. Here's some books that look interesting rules of deception by christopher reich in large print that book is that a blueprint for the uh, current governments that we have in various levels in various places like ottawa queen's park and here in the town. These are the books that the staff has picked out for people. Seems like I'm a 
of uh, some sort of interest to people working here. Mostly they all seem to want to run away. They're all afraid of a camera. As usual, security is hovering around me at a safe distance, of course. Seems like a, quite a large library. I don't want to go wandering around all through it, but I am uh, Uh, could you tell me what the process is for uh, getting a library card? <laughs> what am I doing? Is this a public library? It's a public place? I'm a member of the public? I have the right, these people work for the government? I have a right to film government employees in the course of their duty. It's a constitutional right. It's part of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms Man. I, well, I'm not necessarily videoing people. I think I've gone to, if you've been watching me, you can see I went to great lengths to film other things other than people. She talked, she spoke with me. That's why I focused the camera on her. The same reason I'm focusing the camera. Are you supposed to be in film? If you're in a place like this, you need permission from every Yeah, if, if it's for commercial oh. filming, yeah. No, no, if it's not. If you're making a documentary, a movie, or something like if, that. If I'm in it. If I'm in it, you need my permission. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, sir. I do not, sir. You're up there. Sir, why are you? Why did you? Why are you even approaching me, sir? Because you're in here bothering you, people. You, why are you I'm escalating things? I don't understand why. I'm not. I'm not I, yelling or, or I know what you're, you're starting to raise your voice, and I, Brother, I know it's making me a little fearful I for my safety, a, sir. I watch a lot of people like you on on TV. I know what you're trying to do. You, you're trying to get me to escalate something so you can well, sue and do whatever you want. You got to film the police. I don't know if you noticed this, but the police aren't here. I know. So why don't you go down to the police and go film them, sir? Well, I was at the courthouse earlier. Well, why don't you go back there? I don't have to, and you don't get to tell me where to go, sir. Respectfully. Well, you don't get to either. So I guess I'll stand here in front well, of you. Well, you then. can do that, and you I can will. become you can become the star of the show if that's what your intent is. If you put this online. Oh, I definitely Without will be putting. Permission. I will definitely be putting it online, and I don't need your permission. Yes, sir. you do. No, I do it's not, sir. It's called film rights. Sir, sir, you need to. You need I to. I went to school for it. You need I to calm down, it. sir. So unfortunately, sir, you need to calm, to calm down, down, and you don't have any matter. authority over me, sir. So Neither, you can't tell me what to do. You don't have authority over me. I'm not trying. I'm not face. trying to tell you what to do, sir. Yes, you do. You're telling me that you're going to use my property, my likeness, for your own. Well, you insisted on approaching me, sir. No, I did not. If you don't want to be on, if you don't want to be on a camera, sir. Yes, it is. It's a public library, place. sir. If Please. you don't want to no, be... Out there is public. There's no expectation there of privacy in a public place, sir. Out there is public. Out there is public. This is a facility. I don't know why you approached me, sir. I have no interest in you at like all. I don't like people like you because I know what you're trying to do. You think so, you're so, smart? And you think you're funny by saying, oh, you're escalating. I'm not trying to be funny, that. sir. I'm just trying to do, do what I'm doing. I'm just you're trying to here. film my do you my filming. Here. You are here, which you don't need to be. There's no reason for it. She already <laughs> asked you not to film it. You're, you're, you're over here filming these things, making it like you're out. We know what you're doing. I've never been here before. I'm, and I'm documenting nice my, my experience. Nice and my experience with you, sir, is nice not very excuse. positive. You know what? My experience with you right now is uh, absolutely BS because you're lying through your teeth. Sir, do not. Uh, you're lying through your teeth. You are a liar. Oh boy. You oh, are boy. a liar. Go bug some other. Ma'am, this man, this man is uh, harassing me. Think Can you do something about that, please? I have not police. harassed. I've not approached anybody. Then call the police. I've not approached anybody, ma'am. Then call the police and film them. You guys all approached me. Then call the police and film them when they get. Like why? I'm not even listening to you anymore, sir. Good. Good. Thank you for leaving me alone. Wow, what a, that guy was kind of crazy. Getting all worked up over a camera. I bet, oh look, I bet there's cameras all over in here. It's all right for you guys to film me, but it's not all right for me to do a little filming of my own. This is the gentleman right here. Yep, right here, here I am. 
right here. Would you like to state your name, or are you too cowardly to do uh, that? No, I'm not going to give you my name, sir. Oh, so you're too cowardly. So you'll no, here no, why should I give you my name? You, you obviously you have ill will well, towards me, sir. you seem to be what you're doing, sir. I am. Proud, I am. I'm protecting our constitutional tell. rights, sir. What constitutional rights? This is Canada. Section, we don't have Yeah, we do. It's, it's called... No, the, we don't. There are privileges given by the government. It's the, called the, the Charter States of rights, rights and Freedoms, sir. Which are not... They're privileges. It's the Charter of Rights and Freedom. Section 2. Sir, this isn't the United Section States. Section 2. Sir, the ma'am, United I don't States. want to talk to this guy. Why can you ask him go. to go away from me? Then go. Can you ask then this go. gentleman to leave me, me alone, please? Call the police and they can remove me from talking to him. Good Sound good? Morning. My name is Julianne Hi. Julian. Hi. Nice Very nice to meet you. I'm trying to um, read here. What I would ask is that, you know, if you could take this conversation just out into yeah. the hallway. Or please ask him to do that. I don't want to have a conversation with this gentleman. He approached me and is harassing me. Could you please ask him to leave me alone? Could you, one of these uh, nice security ladies ask this gentleman to leave me alone? So why, what I would why ask you is, call the police? The police I don't need the police. Way. Good, cool. I'll stand um, right here then. Um, well, I'll wait for them. Okay, so what I would ask is just that we, we keep our voices down. Now. I'm trying he to keep my voice down. He keeps raising his man. So I'll stay in this general vicinity just to make sure that we keep the peace. As we wait I, I have no ill will or ill intent, ma'am. You are a liar. You're, you're doing nothing but ill will. Are you kidding me? Ma'am, who, who's, who's the person that's being disorderly here? Okay, so what I would This is what he does, though. He'll walk in, he'll do all of this, and then pretend like we're being disorderly. These people are all over the See, internet. So I, I'm just coming into this situation about halfway through, so what I'd like to do is wait for the police to get here, and then we can discuss about that. Sure. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you'd like to stay in this general area, that's okay, but perhaps some distance might be a good idea at this time. You can he's free to back up. You want me to back? Well, oh, I see, I see, I see. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go somewhere else. I'll go start exploring the library. Well, how about a seat in the lounge? That might be a good place. It's comfortable in that area. No, I'm fine. I don't need to maybe sit down. Maybe I don't feel comfy walking around filming people in the rest of the library. Well, you know, there's no nothing in the Constitution or the Charter that says you have a right to not be uncomfortable, sir. There, you're not allowed to film inside of places like this. Yes, you are, sir. It's a public no, building. A public this, they have a little building. sign there, but anybody can make a sign. There's no law attached to that sign. Yes, yes, there is. The public is out there. So I went to school for film. I had to learn all about the legalities of filming inside of places like this. I'm yeah. Well, that's commercial photography you're talking about. This is not no, commercial not photography. Not, no, not. So we do have a policy, and we're going to discuss that once the police are here. But uh, you do have my word, sir, that we will follow up with this. Okay. Yep. Oh, cool. I'll stand here and watch them. All right. So I hope you don't mind that security and I will just be here just no, to no. make sure that there's not a problem. Yeah. No, I got no problem, ma'am. Okay, I'm just going to go look around. Okay, so we do ask that you don't film individuals or uh, staff members at this time because they do. Well, ma'am, ma'am, just, uh, just, just so we're account. clear, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and Regina, uh, and it, there's case law, R, uh, R versus Xerophonitis, which says that uh, we are allowed to film public employees in the course of their duties. So we will so, have a chat about that once the police are here, but I would just ask so out of respect for those individuals, uh, just maybe to leave them out of your film for the time. Being. I'm not interested in, in uh, really, the only people I'm interested in filming are the ones who come, come and talk to me. I was perfectly happy being left alone to do the filming I need to do to get my B-roll footage. Sir, that's like walking up to a bear. Do you see, see what we're up against here? So, we do have a policy and we'll discuss that once the police are here, but we would just ask that you refrain from filming individuals. In I'm, I'm not interested in filming any of the, of the patrons. Okay, so um, I hope you won't mind if myself or security just goes with you just to make sure that that's Oh, sure. The, this other security lady that was here a few minutes ago has been following me all around the building. So this is Ruth, and Ruth will assist you with Hi, Ruth. That, okay? It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Me yeah. okay. uh, I'm not going to give my name out at this point. It's you can, you can call me you can call me good citizen or sir or good something citizen. like that. Okay. But but at this point, I'm not going to be revealing my identity. And we'll try to protect that. Okay. So um, Ruth will be going with you if you choose to film in other spaces at the library. Yeah, that's okay. fine. All right. Thank you. You've been very very. Uh, cordial with me, ma'am, so I have no problems with you following me around. Okay. Now this guy, he's a little bit crazy. He's losing his mind over a camera. <laughs> so this is the guy that would probably commit a criminal act of assault or something like that on me, for simply for filming as is my right under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms.
So apparently the police are on their way, so we're gonna hang around till they show up. And uh, I wanna make it clear that I've not pointed my camera at any individuals that have not approached me. Not interested in any people unless they approach me. There's one gentleman over there that seems very, very upset that I have a camera. He claims to be some sort of an expert on film. <sighs> but he got very animated and very, I don't know, disorderly, I guess would be the word I would use with regards to my being here. I did not approach him. He interjected himself into my recordings. I want to make that clear. All right. Quite a nice library. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's, uh, I didn't realize how deep it went back there. What I found interesting was uh, you have a section on genealogy. Yes, and I thought that was. Uh, now, I didn't peruse the whole thing, but I did notice that a lot of it is in French. <coughs> and my, okay. my French is not nearly as good as uh, it probably should be. Yes, a lot of that collection was donated by the French Genealogical Society. Oh, so wonderful. They, uh, it's housed here, but they maintain it. Sure right. That those records are available to anyone in the area that may have use for them. So Excellent. It's a great yeah, yeah. It's very nice. It's getting believable. You're not, you're not leaving with that. Yeah. I don't need to believe that. Because if you put it on YouTube, that's commercial. So it's getting done. It's only maybe commercial if I make this. money. Yeah, I don't even want to talk to him, man. Well, maybe we can save this Yes, you do. You want these things to no, I'm not. A, you're going to end up being the star, but I did not come here with the intent of making anyone the star. Just came in here to see how well government employees respect our charter rights. Would you mind maybe taking this out to the hall? I think you've kind of done your thing in the library. I, I understand that, but I have a right to be here. I'm a member of the public. I have a right to be here, ma'am. Uh, the, 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 the issue seems to be the camera. Um, to do is just avoid escalation. Uh, Absolutely. I'm not here to escalate anything. I'm here to, to calmly and peacefully exercise my charter rights, ma'am. Are you crazy? You're escalating the situation by doing what you're doing. If you really don't want to escalate the situation, you should just... Close so this, this gentleman seems to be mistaken that he has some sort of right to privacy in a public place, ma'am, and, and that's not the way the law works. Everybody's rights, right? You say you give... You're trying to stand up for everyone's rights, but here you are infringing on everybody's rights, but you want us to respect okay. yours. What but rights of yours am I infringing on, sir? What, what rights is enumerated here, in the Charter of Rights trying, am I infringing? You are getting my private information, my visage, which is my own Ma'am, uh, so, yeah, I don't even want to talk to you. Yeah. So my, my suggestion would be, can we take this outside, or maybe we can just... I would just love to, because I want to leave. I, th I think I would just like to wait for the police. This gentleman is making me uh, fearful for my safety. Oh, you poor baby. He's been very animated. Oh. He's okay, so what we can do oh. is move you to a different location. Well, well I, I have a right to be here, ma'am. I'm going to stay here. I understand, but you know, we are waiting for the police to come to help you. Absolutely, out. absolutely. I think probably they're, they're needed. Yeah, so we do have security here awesome. and myself, and we're willing to stay with you. Patriots are people actually standing up for people like you who are trying to come in here, piss up someone's leg, and tell them it's a man. <laughs> so can we just wait to have this conversation? Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm no threat. I'm no threat to the library. Ma'am? Is it possible to get a copy of this policy manual? Yep, we have one right here for you. 
Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Great, wonderful. Thank you. Is that the policy you're referring to? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that's code of conduct. Yep. Yeah. So this is our uh, specific policy related to film and photography. Oh, okay. Can I, can I get a copy of this as well? Yep. Yeah. We'll have staff print one for you. Okay. Thank you very much. See that? Just trying to, yeah, I'm just trying to cover it up, which is my right, right? You're allowed to, you're allowed to do that. I can try and cover it up. You can create your own privacy, sir, if you want. I'm going to try. But you can't do it by violating my rights. But you want to violate everybody else. I'm not violating sir. anybody's rights. And you can just hold on to the police compound. What's that? You can just hold on to the police compound. I can just hold on? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm trying to, but this gentleman keeps approaching me. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to come here. So the police come along to verify. I would just ask again that we keep the distance. Well, I would appreciate it. I'm just trying to cover him up so he doesn't cover him. Have me on. Well, what, so he's allowed to do this, but so I can't walk over and try to with your camera. So we are waiting for the police. Right. So I'm going to hold on with your camera for now. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. You can stop your camera for now. No, I'm not going to turn it off, man. I'm okay. not going to turn it off, man. For my rights to be able to do exactly what he's doing right Please now. Please turn off your camera for what now. What we're asking is that we don't escalate until, you know, the police arrive. And then we yeah. 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 He's the one who's escalating. My recommendation is for the time being, as he does not want to turn off his camera, to simply turn your back so that your face will not be on camera. That's well, my recommendation. I am not going to bow to these people like the rest of you are that allow him to do it. I'm not being rude, I'm not yelling, I'm not doing anything else like that. Well, I would just I'm ask that we exactly respect what personal you. space for the time being, okay? For the time being, please. Well, he's not respecting my personal thing at all for the time being, so I don't see why I should do that with him. So that we won't okay? I'm not right up in front of him, I'm not right up in his face right now, right? You You're closer to him than I am. Can you please stop your camera for me? No, I'm not going to turn it off, ma'am. All right. I, I'm not going to turn it off, ma'am. So you see here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a, a, a patron here at the library who is um, very, Stopping very disturbed, very disturbed at my presence with a camera. And uh, so, what's your address? He, you he mind approached, up he to approached your address? me. You wouldn't mind showing me showing up got, to us with a camera? He approached me, got in my face. Okay. I'm not in your face. And, uh, I'm not your and he, continue, he continues to harass me, even though I've asked him to leave me alone. Everybody in the library first. You brought this on yourself. Okay. I will uh, post this policy in the video. Switch the YouTube channel then. If you're you know, such a patriot and you're proud of what you're doing. You, you'll find out, sir. I'll find out. Eh? You don't want to tell me because you're a coward. Eh? I don't need to tell you, sir. What a patriot you are. Eh? Listen to this guy. I hope you leave this on the video. You'll probably edit it out, of course, right? Me calling you a coward because you won't even say your name. I don't think I ever or called you a coward, sir. I think you called me a coward. That's what I just said. I called you a coward. Yes.
So I guess we have a standoff. Ooh, Mexican standoff here. Not really, pal. A Mexican standoff would mean I'd actually be able to do something, but we can't do anything because, you know, you're using the laws to your disgusting advantage. Okay, here you go, sir. The policy okay. has Thank requested. Thank you very much. And again, I would just ask once again if we could please maximize the distance I'd be between the two. I'm perfectly happy to give him space if he would do the same, man. I don't see why I need to be over there. I'm not hurting him. Him being here isn't him, him saying him being here isn't hurting anybody else. We're not screaming and yelling. I understand. I would just right. like to avoid an escalation today. It's not escalating. Absolutely. Is he is he escalating to anything physical? No. Am I escalating to anything physical? No. We're okay here. This is exactly what he wants. Well, I would suggest that he has been disorderly. No, I'm and, and I've been very distance, careful. Sir? With him at this distance? No, I wouldn't say I'm comfortable. Well, I'm not comfortable with him in this building at all. In that I understand distance. where you're so, going to be from. We'll try to resolve this Well, dispute. then guess what? We'll have to wait for the cops to tell me what to do. Not I you, understand. unfortunately. But we would like you on. to keep the distance. Well, I'd, I'd like him to stop Absolutely be pleased to, to keep happen. my distance from this gentleman. But it's not going to happen. Again, I would but like to he's not going to allow that. Outside would be a better option. And it's a large library. I would love to do that, but he's not doing that. So I'll just wait for the cops to tell you. You can go outside if you like, sir. I'm staying in this area. That's cool. Police to arrive. Yeah, that's fine. Like I said, I don't think he's going to physically do anything. I'm not going to physically do anything. That's not what he's about. I don't think he's about violence or anything like that. that that's not what I get from him. Do I look, ma'am, do I look like I would be a violent person? I'm not going to comment on this at this point. Yeah, you can't. You're in the position of working right now, so I get that. But I don't. I don't. He doesn't seem like he's going to be violent. That's not what he's trying to do. I don't want to give up on him. I'm just, I'm just letting him have the same treatment. He wants to record people. I'm just going to be in his face, too. That's all. Now, imagine if everyone else came and everyone else came up and did the same thing I'm doing. Oh, that would really do something, then. Um, we just want to move on. Do you want to wear sandwiches? Do you want to wear Well, ma'am, I appreciate the information, but I'm getting kind of tired of waiting for the police. I think they have arrived. That's just what the security has told me. They should be here moments ago. Okay. okay. I'll give it a couple more minutes, okay. and then I'm going to uh, finish my tour of the building. Hey, officers. How are you? How are you, sir? Hello. 
Um, and that's it. Happy, I'm not ready. I want that video to leave. I don't see why you need that. Should be on that guy's video. There's kids on it too. Who we'll knows what he'll do with we'll that? Where, where are you at right here? Okay, we'll chat with him. We'll come talk to you. Okay? Am I going to be able to see him do it? Because I've, I've heard you guys tell me things have been deleted before. Well, I'll be, I'll be transparent with you. You're in a public place. We can't stop it. This, isn't, this is public right here. That's right. This is public. Yeah. Not out there. This is the city hall and here is public. Right. Traditional public forum, sir. Well, then I'm allowed to put this up then if I want to. 100% right? you can I would just ask that you allow us Yeah, I'll, do, I'll let you do it. Yeah. Yeah. I just want yeah. to make sure that that was okay with it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, for sure. you're able to do that. Yeah. Great. How are you guys doing? Okay. Can you guys please identify yourselves for me? Yes, sir. Officer uh, Taliano. Taliano. Yep. And badge number nine seven five zero. Thank you so much, sir. Ma'am. Welsh. W e l s h nine seven four two. Wonderful. Thank you for being professional. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well, sir. Okay. You know why we got called? I th think you're here because they have a policy that says I can't film. However, you know, respectfully, I would argue that. Their policies cannot override the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, Section 2B, specifically freedom of the press and other media. I have not approached anyone here, sir. I, 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 when I came in, I stayed right by the door. I was looking at this, these public sure. displays. Um, they approached me. I've not been asked to leave. Mm -hmm. I've been asked to turn my camera off several times, which I politely declined. Okay, okay so... Um, and then at some point, that gentleman who was over there somewhere yeah. uh, got up, approached me in a very aggressive manner, and uh, made you know, very gesticular, very, um, I don't know how to put it, but he, he was aggressive enough that he made me, put me in a little bit of fear for my safety. He got very close to me, he was very animated, he's pointing at me, he didn't jab me or anything like that, but he was pointing at me. Now, I'm not interested in... Uh, pressing any charges against him or anything like that. I, I, I understand a lot of people don't know what the what you know our charter rights and they don't understand them and uh, You know, so I, I, you know, I tried to explain to him. He's not hearing it uh, Then basically he's backed me into this corner here holding this book up getting very close to me and whatnot. I just uh, You know, I like I said, I didn't feel safe uh, at that point now, I'm not here to film anyone in particular. I've never been to this library before. I, I just found out it existed in this building when I came to look at the city hall. Oh, okay. And uh, I thought, wow, it'd be nice to see what's available. I got out, when I got to the back, they have a huge genealogy section. Yep, yep, Most of it's in right. French. Yep. And although my French is pretty poor, uh, considering this town is like what, about 50% French people, yeah, population? Sure. Uh, and I, I am a French person myself. I was born okay. in Sudbury to, to, uh, okay. to French parents okay. and grandparents. I, yeah. my, the first language I spoke up until I was about five was French. Okay. But then my family moved to Hamilton, and there wasn't much call for French there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Fair so. enough, so you kind of lose it a bit. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm not here with any ill will or any ill yeah. intent. I'm just, uh, just a tourist. Yeah. So, I mean, absolutely, and I think, obviously, you, you understand your rights, and we do as well. Yeah. So, obviously, you're in a public place. And well, I hope you do, because it could turn out, things could turn out bad if yeah, you don't. Yeah, we, so we've explained, right? So, yeah. obviously, you're entitled to film people, right? Yeah. I think it's just important for you to appreciate, I mean... Like I said, I wasn't interested in filming any people. The only people that I that I put on film purposefully were people that approached me. For example, the security guards. This woman here was the first one when I was upstairs. Uh, this woman here has been very very cordial. Everybody. Uh, the, the the man. I assume it was the manager here that was standing here earlier. She's been very very nice. She gave me some information with regards to their policies. Uh, which I appreciate, so I can study them and make sure that I'm not a follow them. Yeah. But at the end of the day, their policies cannot cannot violate my charter rights. No, and I agree with you, right? But so I think we got to look at it two ways. So there's lawful and then there's reasonable. So obviously, it sounds to me like just based on talking to that gentleman for a couple minutes, there's kids in here. Maybe he's here with his kid. I think you can understand just as a human that somebody yeah. filming well, uh, that could be uncomfortable, right? Yeah. And as I said, I'm not interested in children or the yeah. patrons. I believe and the the only the staff I have a right to film are our versus uh, Zerfinitis. Yeah. Uh, says that we have a right to film public officials in yep. the course of their duty, and yep. that's all I was doing. Now yep. they didn't like it, and yep. and I didn't 
because she asked me not to, I didn't start focusing on her or anything like sure, that. Sure. I wasn't trying to push the issue. Yeah. I went on with what I was doing. I wanted to ask her a question, but she refused to answer. Okay. I wanted to ask her how you know about the process of getting a library card because okay. I, I, you know, I, I don't. Uh, I've never been here before, so yeah. I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, I mean, there there hasn't been any feedback relayed to us that you've been anything other than. Cordial. I, I've I been I've been very, very 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 yeah, very conspicuously so, cordial, again, sir. And so we appreciate that, and obviously we we hope uh, to meet you. At if that you look same at me, look at me. I'm old and fat and sick. Yeah. I'm not a threat to anybody. <laughs> no, it, it, like I said, I, it, nobody's really articulated to me that you are. So I don't have that concern. You're yeah. speaking to me calmly. We're good, right? Yeah. Um, I I can offer up a solution yeah. to this situation. Sure. Um, I do not want it to appear that your uh, arrival is forcing me out of this building. So what I would suggest is if you leave yeah. and leave me alone, I will be here another two or three minutes, okay. finish my filming, and then I will be on my way. Okay. I'm just going to talk to that gentleman quickly. Okay. Yeah, I think you'll see there's a difference in demeanor. Yeah, that's fair. I appreciate your willing to work with us, and again, Clarified. I understand what you're doing is lawful. You're entitled to do it, so we have no issue with that. Obviously, we get the call, we respond, right? And our job is to assess. Has anybody sure, worked in the law? Sure. And in this case, you haven't. I've been very careful not to, sir. I'm, I'm a law-abiding citizen. Sure. And everybody's articulated that you've been calm, you've been cordial. It's just oftentimes, I think, just just human nature is when somebody's recording you. That film yeah. could end up somewhere. I mean, it's, it makes people uncomfortable. Well, well, it's, it's, it's likely it's going to end up on the internet now because uh, yeah. because of the the, the experience sure. that I've had while I'm here. Up until I got into this uh, this building, yeah. this part of the building, yeah. everyone other than the, the one security lady over there have been very very nice and very yeah. cordial. Yeah. Now, some of them I could tell they didn't want to be on camera, and they would if, if they're at their workstation and yeah. they saw me, they would wander away, and yeah. that's their right to do that. I, I don't have an issue with that. Sure. Uh, one lady, I tried to ask her a question, and she just ignored me and walked away. I thought that was a little rude, but yeah. but I mean, you know, I'm not in control of what she does. Yeah. It's like I said. So police, we're police officers. People film us every day. We Absolutely. Grow, I, do you we, guys have cameras? No, no, no they don't, don't, don't have cameras for no, you guys. No, coming in the near future. Because I, I think that's one of, the, one of the best things you can have. These are not that expensive. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you. And this this will record for for like up to 18 hours right. on a single charge. Yeah, good. Yeah, like I said, I, I think, um, again, it's lawful and reasonable, right? So when it comes to the public employees, I think like you said, right, they don't have to speak with you. They, yeah. have, the, they have the ability to, sure. to walk away. I think just human nature, yeah. sometimes knowing that I don't know who you are and I don't know what you're going to do with the footage can make me feel uncomfortable. That said, like I said, yeah. our threshold for that is much different than a regular citizen who expects yeah. to come here with their, their child and have a Absolutely. level of Any, No, if it, people don't approach the camera, they won't be on the camera other than in Fair maybe enough. a background passing kind of okay. kind of thing. Fair right? enough. I will, I'll, I'll go. Oh, did he? Okay. All right, sir. Nice to meet you. Very nice to talk okay. to you guys. All right. Appreciate okay. uh, your you professionalism. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, officers. Sir, take care. So, police officers arrived, and they were very, very professional. They uh, upheld my my uh, charter rights. They did not uh, try to identify me. They did not uh, uh, try to force me to leave. Uh, very much appreciated. So very, very professional. Uh, I've got to give kudos to those officers. Um, 
I don't know what else to say. We're going to wait a couple minutes. The officers have left. We're going to wait a couple more minutes and uh, just to make sure that no one thinks that the officers pushed me out. And then uh, we're going to be heading back upstairs. Yeah. Thank you for being so very professional, ma'am. I very much appreciate that. Uh, My name's Julianne. Julianne. You. Julianne, you're, you're going to look good. <laughs> have a great day, sir, and I hope you have a nice weekend. Yeah, okay. you too. Take care. Bye now. Okay, I think the uh, point has been proven. We're going to leave now. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the kind of experience you can expect at City Hall in Welland. Most of the uh, employees were very cordial. They were, uh, in many cases, helpful. Not everybody wanted to be on camera, which is understandable. Um, and it was actually a pretty good experience except for one patron of the library who lost his basically lost his mind uh, with regards to my being there with a camera so uh, yeah that's it we're gonna head out now I think I've had enough of uh, enough confrontation for one day There he is over there talking to the other officer.